Hi, Daniel with DanielParsonsMinistry.com. Welcome back to the Life Journal Bible Reading Plan. Today we cover scriptures for the 8th of July. And in the Old Testament, we will read Hosea chapters 13 and 14, Psalms 100 and 102, and in the New Testament, Hebrews chapter 5. The New King James Version, Hosea chapter 13, Relentless Judgment on Israel. When Ephraim spoke, trembling, he exalted himself in Israel. But when he offended through Baal worship, he died. Now they sin more and more, and have made for themselves molded images, idols of their silver, according to their skill. All of it is the work of craftsmen. They say of them, let the men who sacrifice kiss the calves. Therefore, they shall be like the morning cloud and like the early dew that passes away. Calf blown off from a threshing floor and like smoke from a chimney. Yet I am the Lord your God ever since the land of Egypt. And you shall know no God but me. For there is no Savior besides me. I knew you in the wilderness. To in the land of dr great drought, when they had pasture, they were filled. They were filled, and their heart was exalted. Therefore, they forgot me. So I will be to them like a lion, like a leopard by the road. I will lurk. I will meet them like a bear deprived of her cubs. I will tell, tear open their rib cage, and there I will devour them like a lion. The wild beast shall tear them. O Israel, you are destroyed like your help is from me i will be your king where is any other that he may save you in all your cities and your judges to whom you said give me a king and princes i gave you a king in my anger and took him away in my wrath the iniquity of a triumph is bound up his sin is stored up the sorrows of a woman in childbirth shall come upon him he is an unwise son for he should not stay long where children are born. I will ransom, ransom them from the power of the grave. I will redeem them from death. O death, I will be your plagues. O grave, I will be your destruction. Pity is hidden from my eyes. Though he is fruitful among his brethren, an east wind shall come. The wind of the Lord shall come up from the wilderness. And his spring shall become dry and his fountains shall be dried up. He shall plunder the treasury of every desirable prize. Samaria is held guilty. She has rebelled against her God. They shall fall by the sword. Their infants shall be dashed in pieces, and their women with child ripped open. So as I'm pulling up Hosea chapter 14, just a reminder that on danielparsonsministry.com, I've got hundreds of spiritual messages from all over the world and um, we also have the healthy living um, blog recipes on the website there and very tasty um, vegan uh, recipes from my wife patricia so the hosea chapter 14 israel restored at last O israel return to the lord your god for you have stumbled because of your iniquity Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, take away all iniquity. Receive us graciously, for we will offer the sacrifices of our lips. Assyria shall not save us. We will not ride on horses, nor will we say any more to the work of our hands. You are our gods, for in you the fatherless finds mercy. I will hear their, heal their backsliding. I will love them freely. For my anger has turned away from him. I will be like the dew to Israel. He shall grow like the lily and lengthen his roots like Lebanon. His branches shall spread. His beauty shall be like an olive tree and his fragrance like Lebanon. Those who dwell under his shadow shall return. They shall be revived like grain and grow like a vine. Their scent shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim shall say, what have I to do any more with idols? Have I heard and observed him? I am like a green cypress tree. Your fruit is found in me. Who is wise? Let him understand these things. Who is prudent? Let him know them. For the ways of the Lord are right. The righteous walk in them. 
the transgressors stumble in them. So now we'll pull up Psalms 100. And I appreciate it if you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's DanielParsonsMinistry.com. Just search for, uh, you don't have to put the .com. Just Daniel Parsons Ministry on YouTube search and you'll find me. Thousand something videos for sure. A song of praise for the Lord's faithfulness to his people, Psalm 100. A psalm of thanksgiving. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. So now pull up Psalm 102. And the reading the Bible on a daily basis since 2004 has really changed my life. I love the time I spend um, reading the Bible every day, the strength to, to live in this world. So, the Lord's eternal love, Psalms 102, a prayer of the afflicted when he is overwhelmed and pours out his complaint before the Lord. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me. In, that, in the day that I call, answer me speedily, for my days are consumed like smoke, and my bones are, buried, are burned like a hearth. My heart is stricken and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread. Because of the sound of my groaning, my bones cling to my skin. I am like a pelican of the wilderness. I am like an owl of the desert. I lie awake and am a, like a sparrow alone on the housetop. My enemies reproach me all day long. Those who deride me swear an oath against me, for I have eaten ashes like bread and mingled my drink with weeping. Because of your indignation and your wrath, for you have lifted me up and cast me away. My days are like a shadow that lengthens, and I wither away like grass. But you, O Lord, shall endure forever, and the remembrance of your name to all generations. You will arise and have mercy on Zion for the time to favor her. Yes, the set time has come, for your servants have, take pleasure in her stones. Show favor to her dust, for the nations shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth your glory. The Lord shall build up Zion. He shall appear in his glory. He shall regard the prayer of the destitute, shall not despise their prayer. This will be written for the generation to come that a people yet to be created may praise the Lord. For he looked down from the height of his sanctuary, from heaven the Lord viewed the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoner, to release those appointed to death, to declare the name of the Lord in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples are gathered together and the kingdoms to serve the Lord, he weakened my strength in the way, he shortened my days. I said, oh my God, do not take me away in the midst of my days. Your years are throughout all generations. Of old you laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will endure. Yes, they will all grow old like a garment. Like a cloak, you will change them, and they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will have no end. The children of your servants will continue, and their descendants will be established for you. So today in the New Testament, we'll read Hebrews chapter 5. And in this Life Journal Bible reading plan, we cover the Old Testament once in the year and the New Testament twice in the year. And we have uh, Psalms divided out through the year. So Hebrews chapter 5, qualifications for high priesthood. For every high priest taken from among men is appointed for men in things pertaining to God, that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins. He can have compassion on those who are ignorant and going astray, since he himself is also subject to weakness. Because of this, he is required, as for the people, so also for himself to offer sacrifices for sins. And no man takes this honor to himself, but he who is called by God, just as Aaron was, a priest forever. 
So also Christ did not glorify himself to become high priest, but it was he who said to him, you are my son, today I have begotten you. As he also says in another place, you are a priest forever, according to the order, order of Melchizedek, who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplications with vehement cries and tears to him, who was able to save him from death and was heard because of his godly fear, Though he was a son, yet he learned obedience by the things which he suffered. Having been perfected, he became the author of eternal salvation to all who obey him, called by God as high priest according to the order of Melchizedek, of whom we have much to say and hard to explain, since you have become dull of hearing, spiritual immaturity. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God. And you have come to need milk and not solid food. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But solid food belongs to those who are of full age, that is, those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. So that's the end of the Bible reading today, and I hope to see you on tomorrow's reading. Bye for now.